automatic medical emergency airlift on the Silver Nova of the Silver Sea Cruise Line. Very shortly, that helicopter will be arriving at the ship, and they will medevac uh, that injured individual who is critical but stable off the ship. Now, here's another announcement. We receive an update from the uh, medical uh, evacuation, uh, uh, Brazilian Coast Guard, uh, which the operation will take place at uh, uh, one hour from now at uh, five o'clock. No. Uh, the helicopter will be available at 5 o'clock, so in one hour it will uh, meet us uh, for the medical evacuation. Uh, still not yet decided where is the area to be used, but please keep it clear deck 11 forward, uh, stop side. Thank you for your cooperation. So this is where the operation will take place and they already have it cleared of all the chairs and getting ready for the helicopter. Crew showed up to remove all the deck chairs from the deck and they decided to uh, airlift uh, the patient from uh, the pool deck. So everybody was cleared out. It started raining a bit, but the crew was very efficient in clearing the deck. Uh, the fire brigade came on board, uh, they hooked up their hoses uh, just in case there was uh, some kind of an accident and they were prepared. The helicopter arrived on scene. Uh, did one turn around the ship just to get oriented and see everything was going on and then the operation began. The patient was brought up from the medical center on deck two uh, up to uh, deck ten, the pool deck, to get ready for the uh, airway. Uh, he suffered a uh, uh, massive trauma from the accident in the elevator shaft. Uh, he was crushed and uh, he's in serious condition. Uh, critical, uh, but at the time it was stable. So the helicopter right arrived on scene, and they lowered they lowered two uh, Coast Guard personnel uh, onto the uh, onto the deck. You can see at the bottom of the screen there was a little bit of scramble by the uh, deck crew. Uh, they had to remove some furniture and the downdraft on the helicopter was going to blow it all over the place. And the uh, 
ship's medical doctor is consulting with the uh, Coast Guard people who are going to take the uh, patient off the ship, uh, and he was giving them, uh, I think, some, some instructions. After the Coast Guard personnel got the lay of the land and figured out what they were going to do, they then uh, sent a, uh, a line up to be able to bring down the uh, stretcher from the helicopter. This is going to be a delicate operation. It's always dangerous, but uh, now you can see the uh, stretcher uh, coming down from the helicopter and it'll be, uh, it'll be on the deck and they will transfer the uh, patient uh, onto it. A third uh, personnel from the helicopter uh, came down with the sled and uh, the wind was uh, quite brisk, but they seemed to get it down pretty easily. Uh, a little bit of a slip there, uh, but uh, he was down, and now they are ready for the uh, uh, transport. The patient was then wheeled out from uh, under the shelter. Uh, there was still medical personnel administering oxygen. Uh, it's quite critical. Uh, but they prepared the pressure from the helicopter, and they got all the straps ready. And uh, then at the uh, point when it was ready, they, they transferred the patient onto the uh, stretcher. Once the patient was in the helicopter stretcher, then they had to uh, secure them with all the straps. Uh, did it very efficiently. Uh, there were a lot of straps, of course, uh, anyone had any problems. This is the doctor, and in his hand is a uh, iPhone, and he was able to monitor the patient's uh, heartbeat. The patient was now securely uh, bound with the uh, safety straps and uh, the signal was given for the helicopter to uh, uh, start the lift. Uh, the signal was uh, tapping of the hat by uh, the helicopter personnel on the ship and one of the personnel was also buckled in and he was going to accompany uh, the patient on the right up. arrived at the top uh, at the helicopter, they spun it around to orient it correctly in the last few feet, and then it was uh, jostled around a little bit by the wind, but then they you know, safely got the patient inside the helicopter, and uh, everybody's heart almost stopped at this point. Now that the patient is successfully uh, in the helicopter, it was now time for the crew still in the ship to be able to do the next step, and that was to 
transport the patient's luggage onto the helicopter. Finally, the last crew member uh, got hooked up and off he went. That was exciting. My heart is pumping. Uh, they got the uh, patient off the ship safely, as you saw, and uh, it was one hell of a uh, effort, about 45 minutes, uh, out at sea, wind blowing. Uh, you got to give them credit. Brave, brave people. Thank you for watching and please subscribe, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Look for us on the next video.